I'm Sandy, and welcome to Life with Sandy. Today is Wednesday, September 21st. Where are we going, Jim? Right now we're going for gas. Oh, that'd be important. Yeah. We'll take you along on our many stops today. No, it wouldn't be. Well, we gotta go to breakfast, too. Yes. So we gotta go to breakfast. Yeah, Franklin. Well, I wanted to go to Birch Run. We can play that by ear, there or back. We'll see. But we'll take you with us wherever we go. But we don't have any birthdays today. Not one. Damn it to hell. That I we wanted know. to sing. Jim was going to sing. You guys lost out on a treasure, a treasure of a voice, let me tell you. But it's early. I actually got up early. It's supposed to be hot today. But we're going to have a good time, and we're going to take you along. Right, Jim? You got it. Do you have any jokes? Not today. You'll think of one. Okay, first stop, getting gas. There's Jim. Trying to figure out how to use his points. And you can never come to a car wash without cleaning the windows no matter what. But look at the sky. It sure looks like it's going to rain today, doesn't it? Looks like a rainy day. Oh well. As long as I'm with Jim, I'm gonna have a good time. Okay, next stop is my favorite pancake breakfast place. And we got a front row spot. Things are working for us, because look at the skies. It's kind of foreboding. Okay, this is what I'm getting. Right, Jim? What's that? I said, you're going to get your usual? Yeah, this is one of the very few places where I out usually get the same thing. Okay, I got a half order of pancakes, a couple of sausages, and I've got pancakes and eggs and some bacon. Okay, we're at the hotel running shop. Well, they didn't have my shoes in my size because I take a ten and a half wide, so I had to order them. We paid for them. Um, here's a picture. Well, here's at the end, when I get done talking, I'll show you a video of the sh what the shoe looks like. But it worked out because the guy that uh, works here lives right by us, and so he's going to do door-to-door -door delivery when it comes in. He's just going to deliver it to us. Can't ask for more than that, can you, Jim? Personal service. Personal service. Okay, this is the shoe I'm getting. So hopefully we're just driving through it. Nice when we get there. Well, look, the sun came out. Our first stop is Skechers, and then I'm going to go over to the North Face. I don't need Coach or any of these other things down there. Look at the beautiful blue sky. Well, this was at Skechers. We found some shoes for Jim. I forgot to turn the camera on. Uh, there's so much background music that I was getting copyright infringement for their songs, too. So um, I had to do the voiceover now, which I don't like doing voiceovers, but I wanted to show you the shoes that Jim got and the, the work boots or the hunting boots, whatever you want to call them. But uh, I don't even recognize the song that was playing, but when I uploaded the video, they said copyright infringement, so this must have been the song. All right, we're going to go into the Jackie store. 
get some underwear. Well, I did get my underwear. <laughs> You're not going to see it, though. It's a private. But very disappointing. All my favorite stores are closed. Jim wouldn't know because he doesn't ever come here. But I found one coat that I did like. They didn't have it in my size, and it was $450. Way out of my, bu my budget, but it didn't fit anyhow. And then uh, the, the four or five places that I usually went to get dress clothes, closed, oh, gone. No. It's mostly just, what is it mostly, Jim? Shoe stores. Shoe stores. There's like a shoe store everywhere. There's a New Balance in this mall. Then we've been to Skechers and Reebok and Nike and all of them. And there's not even a lot of, I mean, they moved the Levi's over here, but we don't need Levi's because Jim gets his Levi's free from work. Yeah. So I don't know what we're going to do right now. I think we're going to go to another shoe store <laughs> so Jim can get some shoe laces because the ones for the boots he bought, they're not long enough. And that'll be it. So continue on with the day with my shopping at the... There's a chocolate factory. No, we don't. I'd love to go to the chocolate factory, but no, we're not going to go there. But the outlet mall shopping, thumbs down. Save me money though. But Jim got two pair of shoes for what I paid for one pair of shoes. I'm thrifty. He's thrifty, I guess. And here we come to the Frank and Moves entrance. It's a beautiful day, so it's kind of muggy. But first stop, we're going to stop at Bronner's. It's a Christmas store that is open. I think 363 days of the year. They're closed on Christmas and Easter. But you want to make sure you know where you park when you go in here. Yes. Otherwise, you can get lost coming out looking for your the car. World's biggest Christmas store. Yes. This is really pretty all lit up at night. They light it up all year round. But it's always busy. Open 361. Yep, 361 days out of the year. It's still all one store that you're seeing. It is humongous. That's the hotel over there. Yeah, that's the hotel. We're not staying there. But if you ever come to Frankenmuth, you definitely have to hit Bronner's Christmas store. They're known worldwide. going to drive around the outside for now. See, Jim's phone takes really good pictures at night. Mine doesn't so much because it would be really cool at night when they're all lit up. Due to copyright infringement, I cannot um, show you the, have you hear the sounds of the music, which was beautiful, but they were playing Silent Night um, and the organ, and then they switched to the guitar. But this is just the little chapel that's at um, Frankenmuth. It's actually, yeah, just outside of Frankenmuth, and uh, Jim and I have never been here. So let's um, see how it is, because it's a beautiful, beautiful chapel. It was very moving being in here, but the, I thought that we wouldn't have copyright infringement with these this music because it's church music, but obviously they must have a copyright on it. But uh, it was very spiritual. Uh, Jim and I sat down and said a couple prayers, and I just felt very moved being in here. We've never been in here before. I didn't know it was here. It's very, very small. It's kind of hard to tell how small it really is, but it's very, very tiny. And uh, not very many people can fit in there at a time. But if you ever go to Frankenmuth and you go to Bronner's, Bronner's rather, you need to come over to this chapel because it's just breathtaking. It really is. It's just very deep into your soul. You can feel it. 
I've been coming to Frankenmuth and Birch Run for 50, 60 years, and I never knew this chapel was over here. It was a very moving experience. I was deep in prayer, and I felt the Holy Spirit come upon me. I really did. It was just very peaceful. Well, here's an idea how big the place is. You get a little map. It tells you everything that they sell according to the section. And it goes all the way around. And down to the bottom. So Jim and I went, did the whole loop of the store and we didn't buy not one thing. Nope. I promise my kids I won't get any more Christmas stuff. They say I have enough. Okay, we're going to go over the bridge. There's a little bit of the town in there. Here's the bridge we're going to go in. It's pretty cool. It's old, though. All handmade. Yep. Here we go. Okay, we're going to go into the Funky Skunk. Funkyskunk.com. Oh, no problem. She's still here. So bracelets I bought. Got this one. Thank you. Yep. Got this one. This one. This one. And there you go. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. So three bracelets. Four bracelets I got. Four? Oh, four. Okay. okay, here's our room. I always bring my own pillow. Got a light on that side, a nice picture, TV, microwave, little fridge, little desk, table and chair, the unit. We have a nice view of the parking lot. And Jim's in the, oh no, Jim's out of the bathroom. I'll show you what the bathroom looks like. Little area here. I don't know where the light is. Oh, here it is over here. Little closet. The mirror. And the toilet. In the tub and shower with a handicap bar. What do you know? Well, that's this is our room. Did I get you dizzy yet? This is what Jim and I get. Uh, $29.95 per person. And then they have other choices on the back. Which you can get. Oh, easier, Jerry. Okay, we're at the restaurant. They dress in the costumes that are normal. I don't want to show other people here. Maybe somebody will come by me and I'll show you. When she suits cry, they dress like um, Bavarian women, Bavarian men. It's a nice little restaurant. Expensive. But what is it nowadays? Of course, I think Jim and I did pretty good for dinner. We did not get dessert. I don't think we went too cray-cray, but now Jim's dipping into the bag. Show him what you're having, Jim. Coconut cluster. We had to get some turtles for Christy, but they don't call them turtles because Russell Stouffer has the copyright on that. So the lady was saying we call them myrtles. And who was getting confused? No, I wasn't getting confused. You kept asking her, well, what's the difference between a turtle and a myrtle? Yeah. And she kept telling you this exact same, oh, look, a pretty dog. Nice dog. 
you're gorgeous you're gorgeous you're gorgeous um so she said well because they're basically the same thing but we can't call them a turtle well why can't you call them a turtle if they're a turtle no i just went, was trying to find out if they had ever called them turtles because that's what christy called them because that's basically everybody and then knows she finally said well no we never called them turtles other people did but they're turtles but that's a brand name like an oreo is right. a brand name right so he was getting a little confused on that but we had some chicken and i i always thought that was a roasted chicken was that fried chicken because yeah. i just said yesterday i've never had fried chicken yeah it's fried i always thought it was roasted but they had chicken and noodles and mashed potatoes and broccoli and cauliflower Jim loaded up on the broccoli and cauliflower, didn't you, Jim? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was really good. It was roasted cauliflower and roasted broccoli. And we had a really good waiter or server, whatever they call them nowadays. But now we're just sitting. When we went in, it was hot and muggy, and now it's a little chilly. Tomorrow morning when we get up, it's gonna we, we're going to go on the boat tour today, but the, we missed the boat. We missed the boat. In more ways than one, we missed the boat. So we thought, well, we'll just go tomorrow. Well, today we would have went. It would have been like 85 degrees. Tomorrow, when we go, it's going to be 57. It'll be a little cold, but we're going to we're going to try. So. You're the one who's going to go to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Jim's flirting with the ladies. <laughs> Jim's flirting with the ladies, and his woman is sitting right next to him. Anyway, that's going to do it for tonight. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Let the cars go by. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Give me a grab. And then see you guys tomorrow.